I did it. I can't believe I did it. Broke the tip off my knife, put it in the uh, dishwasher. Certified fail. This is what happens. Now, of course, I didn't actually do this. But I hear this all the time. You're putting knives in dishwashers, not a good thing to do. But whether you do it in the dishwasher or you drop it, for any reason your knife tip breaks off like this, we can fix that. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix it right now. Well, welcome back. So there you have it. The tip is broken off of this knife. You may have a drawer full of these. You don't have to throw them away. We can actually fix this right here in the sharpening shop at Bear Claw Knife and Shear. That's where we're at right now. The first step is going to be to reshape this tip. To reshape it and give it a natural line, which is probably going to go from about here all the way to here. So this is a carving knife. It's going to be a shorter carving knife now. Uh, of course, this comes from a stack of knives that we have in here that are just... Uh, you know, left here, this is not a good quality knife. So I assure you it's not a good one. But let's go ahead and reshape it and see if we can make it better than it was before. This is how we do it. Now that we've got that done, we've reshaped the tip. We've got a nice strong burr on it. The whole thing is nice and sharpened. There were some nicks in there we also took out, which you saw me doing some of the work back in here. We were taking out some nicks. And now you've got a nice new shape. All right, this is a ceramic belt that we use. This orange belt is a ceramic from Norton Abrasives. It's a structured abrasive. It grinds very, very cool. The sparks and the, the, the pieces of steel that come away actually take the heat away. So we never really heat this up that much. It's never getting too hot. So we don't take any of the temper out of it. But at the same time, we're able to completely reshape it right on that belt. Now we're going to move to a different belt. This belt happens to be a uh, X45 belt, also from Norton Abrasives. This is a silicon carbide, a different type of abrasive. Also grinds very cool. It's a much smoother grip. So we're gonna take and do the finish work on that and then buff it out on a felt buffing wheel with chromium oxide. Uh, let's move to the next machine. Now we're going to go over to the hard felt wheel with some chromium oxide that we have. This will take out a lot of the minor scratches, polish that edge, and take care of the burr. It will remove the burr. And that's how it looks when it's all done. Nice new shape. This will still work as a nice carving knife. Now one thing I did notice when we chose this knife, see that line, that little rust line that's running up and down? This knife was originally probably sold as a fully forged knife, which means the, the, this bolster here, this area here, is all one piece, and that it was made on a forge that comes down with great pressure well, this is at the critical temperature. It's, 
it's red hot and it shapes it into this shape. Right, very good for a blade to be forged, but what they did here was they forged the bolster so it looks like it's forged. They'll tell you it's fully forged, but then this line right here shows us that they added the blade afterwards. This is not a fully forged blade. That's why they can sell these so inexpensively. So if you see on a $300 block set that it is fully forged, it's probably a lie. After a while, you'll see that line begin to form and you'll realize that the blade is not forged. We'll explain more about the difference between a forged blade and a, a stamp blade in the future. I want you to stick around for more videos, so go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified of future videos. And we'll go ahead and uh, get you all the information we can on the knife business here at Bear Claw Knife and Shear. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.